Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'll show you how to create this uh, smart POS, basically like point or cell. So uh, what you can do with this, you can actually search the barcode. And um, these are all the products that you see on this. And uh, right now I'm going to demonstrate you real quick. So I'm going to copy this barcode and then just uh, paste it right here. Then you can see the product going to be shown here. But um, that's not the point of this tutorial. This tutorial, I'm going to also show you how to use uh, phone, uh, basically my iPhone as a scanner. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the real product so that what you can see right here, the seven products. I'm going to use my phone to scan the barcode of each the product and then it automatically show me this uh, barcode right here. So that's uh, uh, the purpose of uh, this tutorial. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to make this phone as a wireless scanner, then first we need to install an app called CLZ Berry. And this is the app that we're going to use. So here you can see the title say this is the wireless barcode scanner and it got quite good rating as well. And uh, we just quickly look into this. So we first need to install this and once we install I will also show you how to connect this uh, app to the computer so that we can just send the barcode that whatever we scan on the product will send automatically to the React application and then it just try to search for that product. So that's the purpose of using this app as a wireless barcode scanner. Now let me just click on this to open. You can see that it says we have to uh, basically get the uh, battery ID to be able to send or uh, to send the barcode to the PC or to uh, Max. So now let's just click on this uh, get very um, ID and first we need to uh, enter the email address and then it will send this ID to the email and so that we can just use that. And so now let me just uh, quickly type my uh, email. Alright, so now I have entered my email address. Just click on this get ID button. It will send an email to my Gmail account. So here this is the one. You can see that it contained the uh, ID right here. So now let me just go back to my uh, app. So this is the app and just click back. You can see that it automatically entered this ID for me. So here we go. This uh, all set up for this uh, iPhone. So now let's just go back to the uh, PC and we're going to also install a software basically to uh, connect this to that um, software. It's just similar to like a driver. So now let's just um, see that how it can be done. All right, so now you need to install this software to your PC. Uh, to be able to install this, you need to go to this link, uh, the clzbari.com slash buddy. And once you're inside this page, you can install it for Mac OS or for Windows. So I'm going to install this for my Windows. And right, so now it's done, it's quite quick. Just install this as usual. install launch all right so this is the application that we're going to connect with the iphone so what i need to do now i need to just click on uh, basically enter this um, id so whatever that you just uh, seen on the application i'm going to type that now so it's l e s c f3 and now just click on the apply and what I need to do now, just click on this connect button. All right, so now it says connected to Barry. And what I'm going to do now, I just quickly show you what the applications is all about. So basically all the codes. And after that, I just demonstrate to you how to use this application and do the real scanning on the real products. So now let's just have a quick look on the code that I just wrote. Okay, so now uh, let's have a quick look here. And um, if you watch my previous video on how to create COVID-19 tracker, then the code is quite similar to that one. And uh, so the thing is, instead of like getting the data from an API, I just create like a, a normal JSON data and I put it inside this uh, source folder. 
and all you can see right here there are like seven products and each of the these uh, products it include the ID of that product the name the image and this is the barcode and also the price and uh, these are all of the seven products so once I have this uh, JSON file I need to come back to this uh, app.js now I just need to import that JSON data right here underneath all of these imports we have the uh, bootstrap CSS the form field which uh, is the search bar and this is the card that we can just see there are like seven at the moment and this is the react columns which we uh, basically just put it into three columns so right here we have the um, so this is the set uh, result so whatever the result coming from this we just put it inside this variable inside this uh, array you as you can see and this is the search barcode and whatever that the barcode that we search we just put it inside this string right here and uh, we have the use effects so the use effect once this page loads it going to uh, try to copy all of this information from this JSON data to this variable which is in the array format as I mentioned and right here we have the uh, results uh, filter so whatever that we try to search on that uh, search bar so if the uh, search bar is not empty then uh, we basically try to see if there's like a match between the barcode that we search on this and also the barcode that is inside our uh, JSON data if it exists then it show that products if not then uh, basically it's no nothing at all and um, if the barcode is empty then it try to show me everything's inside this uh, data so um, that's how basically uh, we are going to use this uh, filter barcodes it try to just search whatever that's inside that um, JSON data so once we have that we try to just map everything that is shown uh, onto the React application with this uh, return information we have uh, right here just put like a background to light it's just like a similar to gray color and the text is dark text and this is just try to align it into the center and with the margins of 10 pixel and inside the card we have the uh, image which is the image that getting from here so uh, right here we can see we have different images URL and uh, right there uh, this is the body and we have the product names the price the barcode again I'm going to just show you real quick the name the barcode and the price so um, this is what it going to return us that and we have this variable to be used in this uh, underneath right here so the columns is going to be shown as four columns with whatever the result that you're going to uh, search from here there is the search result and on top of here uh, we have the uh, basically like the background color of that green so here this is you can see the, the green and then I try to align it into center and also uh, I have the height of uh, 90 pixel so this height is 90 pixel and you can see that there's like a thin line underneath here as well like this is a, a little bit uh, darker green color I would say so I just add another one right here with the height of uh, 5 pixel so if you wonder how I get this uh, hexa value then uh, I'll show you after I explain this so um underneath here we have the form which is the search uh, bar the search field so basically we have the type the text this is the search uh, barcode and on change whatever that the uh, barcode enter to that search field it's going to do uh, the filtering right way and we also have the autofocus as well so what autofocus does is that when you go to here so when let's say when I try to refresh this page you can see that it automatically focus on this text field I don't need to just click on this and then I just start typing or start scanning so that's the purpose of using the autofocus alright so talking about the background color now let's just show you real quick here so I got this uh, hexa uh, value or hexa code from this uh, URL and 
the first one here I use the green yellow so this is the barcode uh, this is the hexa value from that and uh, the thin line that you just seen uh, which is coming from here this is the the value of that one alright so this is the exact one that you just seen okay so um, I think that's pretty much it for uh, the coding it's quite straightforward I didn't really show you how to create this from scratch because uh, if you want to understand uh, exactly how uh, to implement all of this then you can just watch the previous video on how to create the COVID-19 live states so all right um, that's pretty much it and now let's see how I'm going to uh, connect this application right here to the uh, iPhone and then we can just start doing the scanning and see the result alright so now let me just click on this uh, application and then what I need to do I need to just click on the scan button and it asks me whether I want uh, to accept or to the access the camera then I just click on yes button so right here we can see that it's connected with uh, this logo um, with this logo active so I can also just disable this as well so when I click on this it means that we disconnect and uh, just do that again it connect with this computer with that application is running right there okay so um, now let me just do it again and then now let me try to scan some products all right so before I'm going to um, scan these real products and then see how it works first we need to go to this app and uh, you can see that when we just click on this setting we want to also allow the duplicates so let me see all right so this focus and uh, just allow the duplicates otherwise we can only scan this product once and then it's not going to work anymore okay so um, now we already had that and just do a quick uh, demo so it's search you can see that the data is uh, uh, basically like it searched that right away and then it try to refresh this page again so now let me just do a second time to see if this allow the scan duplicate uh, duplicate scanning just do that again here we go you can see that on the screen and that's how it works so let me try to have the other products so this is the other one and um, here we go so that's the one that you can see and again for the others for the other product as well let me focus this on my phone all right here we go and then um, just do that and here we go you can see that right away and this for the other products all right and this is the tissue tissue over there you can see that just want to demonstrate uh, for all the products the seven products what's L which is this one All right, it seems that the barcode is not um, correct for this one. And now let's just have a quick look on that computers. You see you have that correct. So this is the Milo. All right. So I didn't enter this barcode correctly. Now let me just change that. And then uh, save. Just do it right away, like on the flight. And now let's just do it again. So I'm going to just focus this and then scan. Here we go. You can see that Milo on that. So at the moment, we don't have any uh, thought of basically keep track of what we scan and then add it to basically like sayings like add to cards, stuff like that right now we only have like searching and in the future if you want to see me uh, continue working on this uh, small projects the smart pos the point of sale then let me know i can just work on that as well continue working on this project is quite fun and um i think that's very much it for this tutorial i hope you learned something from this video learn how to connect or use the iphone as a barcode scanner and then we just search that on flight whatever that product we search so 
uh, see you guys in the next video. Stay safe.